Today I'm going to show you how to make panko crusted salmon and wild rice pilaf. Let's get started. The rice is going to take the longest to cook, almost an hour. So we're going to get started on that first so we can prep everything else while that's cooking. We're going to start out on the stove top first and then put it in the oven for the rest of the duration. So be sure to use an oven safe pot for this. Start by adding butter to the pan. And next I have these leftover vegetables from when I made soup the other day. So I'm adding those as well as fresh garlic. Give it a good stir and let them saute for a little bit. Get your rice ready. It's a two to one ratio. So for every one cup of rice, you're gonna use two cups of liquid. Dump in your rice. Give it a good stir so it's coated with butter. Let the rice cook for a little bit. You don't want it to burn, so make sure you stir it. Season with some salt and good old pepper. Now add in your liquid. I'm using chicken stock. Give it a stir and then we're gonna bring it to a boil. Now that it's come to a boil, we're gonna cover with foil or a tight fitting lid and put in a 350 degree oven for about an hour. It's been about 40 minutes, so I'm gonna take a peek and see how our rice looks. As I fluff it with the fork, I can see that there's still liquid down at the bottom. So I'm going to put this back in the oven and let it finish cooking. Now let's get started on prepping our breadcrumbs. I just have some panko here and I'm adding some fresh parsley. I'm also going to add some lemon zest. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Give it a mix and grab some olive oil or I'm using avocado oil. You're just going to put some in there and stir it around and let the breadcrumbs get coated. This is going to help make them nice and crispy when it bakes. Now just set that aside and let's get started on our salmon. I seasoned mine with salt, pepper, and garlic. I'm heating my pan up and adding some avocado oil. Now that the salmon is par cooked, we're gonna grab Dijon mustard and I'm also using horseradish. This is gonna let the breadcrumbs adhere to the top of the salmon. If you prefer, you could just use some butter. All right, now we're gonna add breadcrumbs to the top.
Now put in a 400 degree oven and let bake until the top is brown. The rice is done as well and it smells so good. Just gonna fluff it with a fork and I'm gonna add fresh parsley. I also made caramelized broccoli with garlic, lemon, and topped with Parmesan cheese. I'll leave a recipe below if you're interested in making it. This is definitely not a meal that you wanna have if you're looking for a quick dinner, but it definitely is worth the time to make it because it's so delicious. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to the next video. Bye.